guys thanks for stopping by my channel so on today's video we're going to be talking about how you deal with the stress of going through nursing school if you want to hear information about how i dealt with the stress go ahead and keep watching this video I'm making this video by request from one of my new subscribers so I wanted to go ahead and just have a chat about how stressed you're gonna actually be when you're going through nursing school. Everything about nursing school is just stressful. I mean like signing paperwork, showing up, trying to be on time, trying to make sure your uniform is right so you don't get there just to be told that you need to go back home. I mean everything from the most minor details to even some of your large assignments that's going to be due while you're going through the program just literally stress you out. With that being said, everyone has different ways of coping with how they deal with stress and no two nurses or no two nursing students are going to be the same when it comes to what works for them because what worked for you might not work for the next person. Thinking about some things that kind of really just had me super stressed in nursing school was working. So, so that in and of itself was just had your girl just all kinds of tripping. But you know, I managed to make it work and you know, I just did what I had to do. So working full time and then being in an accelerated nursing program is no easy feat. And by the grace of God, I just made it happen. It's really like a mental battle because you have to psych yourself out to just go at that pace and that high stress time period for however long your nursing program is. My nursing program was 11 months, which basically meant that we did not have time to slack. It was going so fast. And I remember being in the program, like this is basically the two year program condensed into one year. Like what did I just sign myself up for? But once you get through the whole process of being stressed out, if you're gonna get in nursing school in the first place, once you get that seat, you're gonna fight tooth and nail to make sure you stay in the program. And that's just my um, mentality on how I just kind of psych myself out that I gotta do this no matter what. Because prior to getting into this program, I know how it feels to not get into nursing school. So that actually brought a little bit more value to me getting in and wanting to be successful the first time around. And let me tell you, there were some times when I was like, ooh, I'll see y'all next semester because I'm about to recycle. But you know, I just will always figure out how to save myself. And that's part of the strategic game of getting through nursing school. Another thing that I found very stressful was just managing my time because like I said, I was working the whole time. So I had to figure out when I was gonna study, when I was gonna try to get ahead when I could. And it was just a constant year of just trying to find time that I really didn't have. And I mean, really didn't have because when you do have free time, I wanna get ahead, that's what sounds good, but in reality, that nap always won. So I'm just keeping it real. But balancing your time in nursing school is most of the uphill battle because you are constantly doing something. Whether you need to read, whether you got a test coming up, whether you're going to clinicals and even clinical checkoffs. Even during my clinical checkoffs, I would come in there like, Lord, please don't let me kill this mannequin today. I mean, like, I know the mannequin's not alive, but that mannequin alive when you're a nursing student. Don't get it twisted. So I just would be like, let me know enough to get through my checkoff. And what made everything even more high stress in the program that I went to, they were really big on the partner system, which meant that everybody checks off in groups. If your partner fails, you fail. Remember being in some of my checkoffs, like, hey, take in charge because you don't want the other person's nerves to end up subsequently failing you. So a lot of times 
you had to kind of jump in and take over skill checkoffs, even if it wasn't the skill you didn't think you were that good in. But you'll be surprised how the fight or flight kicks in mostly all the time while you're in nursing school trying to make things happen. So now that I think back and now that I'm not in nursing school, I really think that that's a really good learning environment because when you get on the floor, that's really how it is. I mean, you're not just going to let some patient crash while you stand there and watch your nursing colleague fumble. You're going to try to do whatever you can to help that other nurse because nursing is a team profession. You can't go alone at mostly almost everything that you're going to do and even when it comes to just bouncing ideas off other people, you learn how to work in a team because it's a team oriented profession. So I think when you're stressed out in nursing school, just trying to figure out what I gotta do to pass, it really kind of builds you up for the real world. And talking about just stress in nursing school, I just feel like as a new nurse, sometimes you just, Feel like you just don't know enough yet and that's half the battle because you don't know enough yet but you're expected to kind of jump in for me i would always look for opportunities where if a skill was going on that i would just go in and observe and try to observe and then get to a confidence level where i would actually volunteer to do the actual skill um, but you know, unfortunately, sometimes when you get in the actual real clinical world, and I mean like outside of working with the mannequins, some institutions that you may go and do your practice at really don't let nursing students do that much. Um, so when you do get those opportunities to try to do something hands-on, you really have to seize the opportunity. If you don't have some type of belief system, by the time you get out of nursing school, you probably would have found one. So for me, just having faith in my Christianity, stopping when I'm super stressed out to just say a prayer, listen to some music, just to lift my spirits up because I'm telling you, you're gonna need it. Stress of nursing school exams, that's basically a whole nother video. I'm a very motivational quote type of person. I read things um, that are very just positive vibes only. I mean, positive vibes only is really like a way of life for me. So I try to suppress any negative thoughts as frequently as I can. What else did I think was super helpful? So a support system. You need a support system when you go into nursing school. Because like I said, nursing is not a team of one type of profession. At some point, you're gonna need help from somebody else. So for me, I'm just so blessed and grateful that I had a really great support system in my family and in my friends that would just basically give me that little bit of extra you know, pep in my step just by words that they would tell me. I remember one time I thought I was about to flunk out because I didn't pass a dosing exam and that was just like, are you freaking kidding me right now? Because your girl know how to do math. But some way, somehow, I didn't pass that one test. And it was, if you don't pass it the first time, you got one more attempt and you had to get a 95% or higher. So going into that test, I remember just calling my mom. I was stripping. I remember calling my mom. I was just going crazy on the phone and she just basically was like, you got it, you'll be fine. And I was, but that don't mean my hand wasn't trembling the whole time I was taking that exam because I knew that if I didn't pass, that I basically was out of the program. But I just, you know, stayed confident and tried to stay as calm as possible because when you're put in those type of situations where you need to save yourself, you're gonna find a way to save yourself. But you also have to make sure that you're not so overworked that you're making stupid mistakes. Cause that sometimes just trips people up. As you go through the program and 
you are, you know, trying to focus on yourself, you end up building really great friendships. And that's another thing that will help you with the stress level of nursing school. You need to make a friend and find buddies that's in your actual cohort or in your actual program that truly understand exactly what you are going through because they literally in the same scenario with you. So I found that that really helped. You just basically need someone that you can vent to because they're right in the same scenario with you. And so that definitely helped me a lot because it wasn't an exam or some type of homework or major report due that I didn't phone a friend. I mean, phone, text, IM, messenger, whatever I had to do, I was on the phone with my nursing school support buddy and I'm so, 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 thankful and grateful for those persons that are placed in your nursing school pathway that just make it a little bit easier whether it's a colleague or whether it's persons who have been there and done it before they just give you those tips and sometimes you know having that advanced knowledge really works in your favor when you're in nursing school you really have to stay positive i mean no one's gonna 100 percent be on happiness times a million throughout the whole program. There are gonna come things unexpectedly that, you know, come to be a test to help you figure out if this is really truly what you're going to wanna do um, as a profession. I feel as though once you get through difficult moments or different challenges as you're on your journey to become a nurse, that those are the same exact instances that help you become that much greater of a nurse when you're really in um, the real world. Because the families look to you for guidance and support, you learn how to find strength from places that you didn't even know you had. And I think that's the value of becoming a nurse. You just learn how to become selfless and no matter what, you are a sense of peace and hope for whatever families or different patients that you're taking care of. Nursing is definitely not for the faint of heart and is not an easy profession to get in. Once you become a nurse, you are very proud of the fact that you are a nurse. And I don't care if it's in a hospital, in a nursing home, in a clinic, in, you know, somewhere, whatever profession you are in, when you become a nurse, you understand what it means to be that support system for those who are in need because that's part of our care process. We learn to be selfless, and I think that the stress that we endure most of the time is because we are the type of persons that really just want the best for the patients that we take care of. So we we end up stressing ourselves out more and doubting ourselves because we just want to be the best caretaker and support system for our patients as possible. So understand that the stress is a part of the game, but if you are not stressed, you probably not doing something right while you're in the program. If you are stressed, it's normal. You're not gonna be the first nursing student that ever was stressed and you're definitely not gonna be the last one. So take it in stride. Know that you do have what it takes because you wouldn't have gotten this far in your nursing profession or in your nursing school curriculum if you didn't have what it takes. And so don't let the stress get the best of you. You will be fine, but no matter what, stay focused, stay positive, stay true to yourself, and stay true to the reason why you wanted to become a nurse in the first place. So leave a comment below on this video to talk about some different things that help you cope with your stress while you were in nursing school or just in general being a nurse. Those things I'm pretty sure will help me and also all the others who find this video. Go ahead and like and thumbs up on this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.